Coach said that typically when you get that kind of consistent energy and effort throughout a game, uh, it feels good about your guys' chances. What did you think was the biggest difference tonight? Uh, the biggest difference between the winning and losing? Um, we, got, we got time to stop. So we, we, we didn't shoot the ball particularly well today. The 17 turnovers, but I don't think that results in us losing the game. I just think it was just not on our side to win. What are the things that you've noticed over the last couple of games as the rotation's been a little bit more similar? Uh, everybody's been back except for Lonzo that you think are sustainable if you guys to actually make a playoff push. We continue, to, uh, continue to play you know, like we did with the energy tonight. Um, and obviously, we got a little bit more, a little bit more strong on the defensive end, but um, you know, I thought we got better with that. We got better with uh, you know, standing the course throughout the 48 minutes. And, um, <coughs> you know, we had some very good looks tonight at times. Uh, we had some. You know, some miscommunications at times, but that's going to happen throughout the game. But I thought we were pretty good today, even though we you know, were too bad. Uh, obviously, got a triple double, but do you feel like the Grizzlies made you work particularly hard for it tonight? No, I, just, I miss a lot of shots. I mean, I, I work hard every night, so you know, that's not, that doesn't stop me at all. I mean, we don't have to be we just don't shoot the ball particularly well from the field, uh, from the field but. Uh, the, one thing about me, I'm, I'm a ball player, so I can always make an impact on the game even if I don't shoot the ball. Did you get any explanation from uh, the officiating crew on either the, the goal 10 or the eight second backboard? Um, yeah, the explanation I got on the goal 10 was that. Uh, <laughs> now, I won't even tell you what the explanation was, but what he told me was if he, what he told me, then that was the goal 10, the explanation he gave me. You know, he said the ball went off the backboard. And when the ball hit the rim, he was allowed to touch the ball. That's what he told me. That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense if the ball it doesn't. He said it doesn't, it, the shot didn't like it was about to be, it didn't like it was about to go in. But it was on the rim, so it doesn't matter if it's going to go in or not. If it's on the rim, you know, I touch the ball, it's in the cylinder. That's the rim. On the eight second, second call, they said, well, they thought um, that they got the ball uh, past half court. That they thought, you know, you know for sure, or you don't. So, you know, just that. You know, it was definitely 15. When I looked at the shot clock, it was 15, and they hadn't got the ball past half court. Um, but, I mean, it happens. This, this team has changed a lot. They still have Conway at point guard. What does he bring to this team? Just stability. Stability, smart. Um, been anchoring this franchise for a long time. And, uh, Show tonight, yeah. so, you know what you're gonna get out of him every night. Obviously, what do you think is clicked for Brandon uh, the last couple games? Uh, he's just been in his own. Whatever it is, you need to say that. Obviously, it was different tonight than it was in New Orleans uh, by uh, you know a lot of different reasons. Uh, just the result was the same. How can you carry over whatever was different tonight into? Just stay positive. Uh, and I, and that's, you know, starts from here. Just gotta stay positive. Keep knocking on the door. You know, and I feel like if we play like we did tonight, then we got to continue that consistent effort. You know, we we'll get us over the hump, but we make this push. So, you know, it's a tough loss. Obviously, I, you know, you know, I'm replaying the plays on my mind right now. Um, it's tough to stay positive and just uh, you know keep watching the film. Obviously, we're not going to have much on the court tonight this time because we're playing every other day this week. But you know, the film session is going to be very key. And how well you can take care, you got to take care of your body starting tonight because the games are coming. Um, so. Yeah, that's just one game at a time, and that's what I look to next week. Or you got to look to next week, or you got to look to next week. No, that's what you got to do. You always got to stay in the moment. You got to stay in the moment and, and see how you can get better um, in, in that very moment. So, you know, right now, like I said, I'm replaying the game right now in my head. Stay in the moment, and then, you know, tomorrow I'll wake up fresh, uh, you know, start preparing for New Orleans. And, uh, you know, as we get to Tuesday, when we get there, then. We'll prepare a little bit more. If you allow that sports is a metaphor for life, do you take like trying to stay positive through adversity? Is that just a general? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's no play? other way that you can uh, let anything get you down at this point. I mean, it's just competition. It's what we're here for. We know it wasn't going to be easy. Um, you know, so for me, being a leader of the team, obviously, I'm very positive on what we can still do. Um, obviously, it's two uh, two tough losses for us on the road, um, but we got a, you know, a couple games at home. You know, we got a Tuesday game that's going to be very tough on us once again to come with you know New Orleans that we played and we got to figure out uh, how to win and be better than we were in New Orleans the other day. Do you think Last the, do you think the playoff push and the fact that 
that's all anybody's talking about with 25 games to go, basically. Has that become a distraction at all? And does it affect the way, have you seen, have you felt like it has affected the way your team plays in close situations? At this point, if you uh, are still allowing distractions to affect you, how the way you play, then this is this is the wrong franchise to be a part of, and you should just come and be like, hey, listen, I don't, I can't do this. Like seriously, you're distracted by playoff pushes and then, uh, all the stuff that's been talked about this year. That uh, you know, just, just come and do your job. We do our job at a high level, and you know, that's not that's not that's not a distraction. That's like that's what you want. That's what you want every game. You want to feel like you're fighting for something. That's what. LeBron, uh, one of your greatest achievements came off the court when you opened the I Promise School. Is that something you thought about when you entered the league, or when did it kind of enter your uh, mind frame? No, no, no. It's something that definitely wasn't in the horizon when I came into the league. Uh, what was uh, in my mind and what I wanted to do was be able to give back to my hometown, um, have a foundation, and obviously it takes a long time to kind of build that structure. Uh, but I knew I wanted to give back. I mean, the city had raised me. Without my hometown, I wouldn't be in this position. I just know how many kids in my hometown struggle. Uh, struggle to not have a lot, uh, but also from the inspiration side, too, there's not many of us that make it out of my hometown. So, you know, I always knew I wanted to do that, and I think the result of just having that mindset has resulted in me being able to open up a school um, and, and having a lot of kids in my hometown be able to benefit from it. Thank Thanks, you. everyone.